Hey everybody, uh, VI EcoFuel here. I uh, just want to demonstrate the functionality of the VMU Series 2 with the OBD2 interface. So we'll uh, start the vehicle. And you'll see the VMU boots. Tells you that it has a OBD2 interface. Brings up the boot screen. And then comes to your gauges screen. So from uh, the top down to the bottom, you'll see BXT, which is the power box temperature. Below that is FCT, which is the fuel cell temperature. PWM shows you the current duty cycle. Below that is the current map sensor offset. And below that uh, gives you RPM. Now, uh, the, the problem that a lot of people are having um, is that they're not seeing a lot of gains in city mileage and that is partially due to the fact that you're putting the same amount of hydrogen into your airflow um, at all times. You're using a PWM that that allows you to vary the amperage but you're not getting a good air fuel mixture uh, and by air fuel mixture I mean amount of hydrogen to amount of air uh, coming into the intake. So what this system allows you to do is vary the amount of hydrogen produced based on the RPM of the engine which allows you to better tune the amount of hydrogen to airflow uh, as it's coming into the engine. So I'll just demonstrate here that down at the bottom you'll see the RPM. As the RPM goes up you'll notice that the PWM will increase its duty cycle. So there's 1300 RPM, uh, 1400 RPM uh, we get 60% duty cycle, where it was down at 20 at idle. And we'll uh, rev it up just a little bit more. We'll hit uh, 1500 RPM there, it should go to 80. Now there it goes to 80%, and anything above 1800 RPM will take you to 100%. So I'm going to report back with uh, what sort of gains I actually see from this in my city mileage, but um, should be good. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you, right, was that the O2 offset actually changes with the amount of hydroxy as well. So we'll just change this gauge here to the O2 offset. And also, based on the RPM, that'll show you the amount of millivolts that the EV built into the Series 2 is, uh, is offsetting. So, as we increase the RPM with the duty cycle, you'll notice that the amount of EV offset will increase as well. So there we are, 100% duty cycle is 100% offset, which I have preset to 265 millivolts. Uh, so you, you set your 100% offset, and then it changes according to the RPM. There you see the RPMs come down, duty cycle comes down, and the EFI offset comes down. Thanks a lot.